not just to touch down, but to stay on the ground and get stronger with time. And then a long-lived tornado is what we are anticipating today. The conditions are favorable. Obviously, a rare event here in Kansas City. It could happen, and it possibly is starting to happen now. A tornado is on the ground right now, confirmed, in this cell near Linwood. All right? So near Linwood, a tornado is on the ground. So for Leavenworth County, Northwestern Wyandotte County, Platte County, a tornado is on the ground right now and capable of producing damage. It is located northwest of Bonner Springs, Baser, Linwood, right in here. City, we're getting confirmation of a tornado on the ground. All right, now, this is the kind of situation where as we go through the next couple hours, these tornadoes could become long-lived and strong and violent. Uh, this is the type of the day where F4 and F5 tornadoes are possible. So please go to your safe place. What do you do, kids? Uh, if you're scared, here's what you do. Please just go to your lowest level, center part, smallest room of your house. If you have a basement, you go there. Uh, there's obviously going to be tornadoes today, and it's a little scary. Most of us will not see one or experience it, but some of us obviously will be. The tornado emergency has been issued for the northern half of the Kansas City metro area. A tornado emergency has been issued. And this is a, an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Okay, this is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Uh, meteorologist Brian Greenwald in the forecast center. Brian, what are you hearing? Tell us what's going on. Well, Gary, as you've been following us throughout the afternoon, this is a, a line of thunderstorms like we haven't seen here in Kansas City in several years. We've had several reports of confirmed tornado touchdowns. The first one actually in Leavenworth County on the western side of the county and on the southern side of the county produced damage in a small... They say northeast, so I would go south. I would not go north. North and State Avenue. So 435 North and State Avenue, we have a tornado on the ground just west of Parkville. If you live in Parkville or into the northern side of the Kansas City area, you should go to your safe place now. So please, this is a serious tornado situation. We have serious uh, damage that is being reported, and we have a debris cloud and tornado that is in this cell. So we do have a tornado warning. Hey, Brett, let's go to hey, Brett. Uh, tell us what you're saying, because you see a tornado? Yes, I did. It was on the ground. Um, we are on, like I said, we were at 130 at Terrell Parkway, heading back toward 435. And we could see it over toward 435, just north of the Kansas Expressway, um, the, the Kansas uh, Speedway. Okay, so that's um, right in this location. Yeah. Um, now, it's, we don't see it right now. It's, it's sort of uh, moving away from us. So we got out, we got, I think we, we may have some pictures of it, um, but uh, behind it, like uh, the roadway, we've got numerous, like large tree limbs just scattered around. Now we do have Amy Holly. Amy, tell us exactly what you've seen and what do you see right now, first of all? I'm not sure exactly what you heard from me earlier, but I'll tell you again, we're at 435 looking south toward I-70. And uh, you can see this, uh, this twister. It's, I'll tell you what, it's pretty, it's pretty wide. 
and it looks like it's getting a little bit wider and it's spitting up debris all over the place. Brian, where are you located? What are you experiencing? Gary, I'm on 169 Highway looking north and, and right about Briarcliff. You can see a, you can see some debris flying around, a tornado right behind it. Looks like it just got a little bit smaller in the last 30 seconds or so. Uh, it's moving, I'd say, north, uh, east, northeast, really. Right on the other side of the Briar to the area, people are just to drive right to that area. I'm probably, I'd say, it's not more than a quarter, maybe half a mile from it right now. We do have a tornado on the ground at 635 north, uh, and right, on, right near the Missouri River, 635 north, we do have a tornado on the ground it's heading right towards and over gladstone and heading through north kansas city the tornado right in here is located back in this location and it's moving right across uh 635 is where the tornado is now being reported right near the missouri river we just got a report right there is where the tornado is located it's moving northeast and our computer says it's located in this area so in this whole area obviously under the threat it's heading towards these towns if you live in any of these towns right now, go into your basement and bring a blanket with you and cover yourself. Go into your lowest level, center part, smallest room of your house. If you don't have a basement, don't worry about the windows. Get everyone downstairs. Try to get the dog and the cat with you if you can. But one thing you don't want to do in this situation is try to leave your home and escape, all right? Uh, more people get killed or injured in their cars. All right, that leave homes that aren't even damaged and west. And uh, there's the edge of the thunderstorm. Okay, let's go back to the right, Brian, and see what we're looking at here. We're still looking at uh, possibilities of any lowerings. And as we look at this, we do not see anything at this point. The sirens are going off here in Jackson County at the station at this time. Okay, there it is, right in here. Okay, Brian, there it is. Look at it right there. And if we can look right over the Marriott Hotel, that is the area. This right here, there's a lowering. I don't know if you can see it yourself, but there is the lowering north of the Marriott Hotel, so that's the best view we can have of this at this point. But right in here is where the tornado would be, and it almost looks like there could be one coming back down to the ground right there north of the Marriott Hotel. Uh, so this is our downtown double tree sky view, and a pretty impressive shot. If we can take a look at our American Century sky view, we'll come back to this. It looks like it could be a tornado forming right there. Uh, on the wall cloud. That's a wall cloud, but guys, it's hard to see. Uh, this is from our downtown sky view. Uh, Brian, start a time lapse on the American Century sky view. All right? To do like an hour long one of those. But there it is, looking towards downtown. Uh, the cell is just north of downtown. I know the sirens are going off here, south of the downtown area, but you don't have to worry about it. Oh, meteorologist Jeff Penner and our chase crew number one is still on this cell. He just saw a wall cloud and a tornado on the ground right now it is on the ground a tornado on the ground north of 210 in liberty the meteorologist jeff penner is up north right now uh, jeff where are you and tell us what you're seeing we're in the liberty area we're in a neighborhood here about off of 152 highway on kansas street and uh this neighborhood here has taken some pretty good damage uh, there's some very large limbs down uh there are things strewn about there's a trampoline that was blown into the middle, blown quite away. Ten minutes, uh, ten people rather treated at Liberty Hospital, one series. Meteorologist Jeff Penner joins me live now. Will tell us more about damage downtown. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we first came upon here at the Liberty Junior High. We started seeing some damage, some shingles off of roofs from nearby houses. Also, big limbs down here in the background. Also, a uh, piece of the roof from the Liberty Junior High. So there has been some damage. This is the kind of damage we saw around the Liberty Junior High. You go about a mile or two to the northeast into downtown Liberty, you started to see more structural damage. You had roofs blown off of the courthouse. You had some uh, fire escapes, uh, a fire escape that was uh, uh, pushed down. You also had a lot of bricks that have been strewn about, broken glass, a lot more structural damage. It's quite obvious as this storm went from Liberty Junior High to downtown. It intensified and uh, certainly some damage here. Quite a day. Cross 435 into Kansas City, Kansas. Then the new raging line of thunderstorms developed. We ended up with uh, all kinds of activity. As we take a look at this, uh, there was a, a shelf cloud and a lot of people were concerned. You see that one suspicious cloud right in here as it's illuminated by lightning. That is what we call a shelf cloud. A very suspicious looking cloud, but no threat of a tornado 
with this kind of setup. This is the line of thunderstorms that moved through the city. Hey, dude, it just hit our house. I swear to you, I'm in, they're in the basement. That's what just hit the house. 